Welcome to the trap. Yeah. The black marketplace. Black marketplace. You know, this is where, you know, black people are just coming over here and they just expressing yeah. themselves, you know. Being black entrepreneurs and stuff like that. You already seen we had a little black genius in here earlier. Yes. You know? Yes. So we just keep going with it. Just gonna keep it going. Leave that alone. <laughs> he got he got that O C D shit. Shit be bothering him. I like it. He don't even have one of these. He don't have one Welcome back there. to the black marketplace. <laughs> and today, I'm really upset. I'm not even gonna flex because I didn't know nothing about this right here. You have been holding out well, that's this whole time. Miss Dorian Toku, welcome to the trap. Thank you. Yeah. And you seem to have an amazing product I that is flying off the shelves. And my man said he's been trying to order one for months. And <laughs> you just, what's, put me up on game. Okay. Because I've been doing this ever since you handed me this. And you know this. And you're going to be doing it every day once you get in your shower. This okay, bet. This is my exfoliating body sponge um, line. Came originally from Africa, West Africa, Ghana, which is where my family and I are from. Shout out to Ghana. Shout out to Ghana. The sponge is made up of 100% nylon. There's nothing to it. Um, it is a great exfoliator. It extends to reach your back, which I know a lot of the body sponges out there do not do that. A lot of the products right now on shelves breed bacteria, so you should be throwing them away every 30 days. Because this is made up of nylon, it does not breed bacteria, so it can last for a couple of years. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yes. What made you get, well, how did you start this? Well, I didn't start it. It was actually, it wasn't my idea. It's a concept that we've been used in Ghana for centuries, right? So when we were younger, we could not sleep over anybody's house. Oh, African parents, they don't play that. My parents must be African. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so at 16, I had a birthday party and I forgot my sponge. So I'm like, my homegirl was like, oh, you guys got one of them? She was like, oh, I got a washcloth. I said, washcloth? Okay, um, let me, you know, let me get it. So I'm like, yo, what is this gonna, this doesn't do any, doesn't get any dirt off. And so I wasn't used to it. So I was shocked that nobody used something that got dead skin cells off. We shed it every single day. So um, that was the beginning amazing. of it. That was the first thought at 16. And then as I grew up, people were always complimenting me on my skin and asked me what I use. I'm like, you have great skin. This is it. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna put this in a box and bring it to America. And that's what I did. Because Americans will buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you do have great skin. Thank you. And this feels amazing. Yeah. And now that you have put me up on game, and you say this lasts a couple years, I can't wait to use this. Carlos Miller here. Are you having trouble managing your finances? Well, our sponsor, Curran, can assist you with all of your money managing hassles. Any member who signs up for a current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pot and enabling the interest feature. What I like about Current is the app is you know, it's easy to navigate and you can easily keep track of your spending. For a limited time, we partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right, Current is gonna give away $250 to four listeners of our show. All you have to do is download the Current app at current.com forward slash market or enter the code market doing sign up for a chance to win. Remember, that's market doing sign up. Winners will be awarded soon, so don't wait. Download the current app, check out their new interest feature, and enter the code market for a chance to win. No purchase is necessary to win. Purchase won't increase chances of winning. Void were prohibited. Eligibility restrictions apply. Visit current.com market for full terms and conditions. What's the best way to use it? Should you like ball it up or like? No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> So you take it. <laughs> that might work, though. Yeah, because people behind yeah. people's ears stink. It's nasty. It stink right, back yeah. there. 
So you ball it up like this. You kind of use your fingers to grip it all, right? And then you just get your body. Whole body. And then when you're ready to get your back, you just extend it out. Get and then your you neck. Get your back. Very ears. simple. Bottom. All right, whatever. All of that, all of that. Everything in between. <laughs> So, like, two months ago, I think Ashton Kutcher and his wife did an interview. They don't even wash their legs. On, so they were saying they didn't shower. So this is how my, this is why I can't keep Sapo off on my shelves, because. White people start buying them? That too. Oh, I thought you, I can't keep it off my shelf. Man, white people have changed their game. So that's really what happened. The so Ashton, if, started, if you blew up after this? Yes. Literally. Stinking leg having ass people. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lot of white people been coming out talking about how much they don't shower. Yep. They say um, you gotta wait till you see the I dirt think it on was you. A couple days after that show aired, like two days after uh, my sales, I sold one year worth of inventory in four hours. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I had, there was um, a social influencer, she's also a uh, an author, and she commented on my sponge and what it does, because she's also African. And after that, it just went a little viral. So. How you pronounce the name? Sapo. Sapo. I got mine. Hey, Y'all <laughs> stink. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> your, little, your little stinky back behind your ears stink. <laughs> this is stretch and everything. Mm -hmm. This is dope. Yeah. Where can they find the product? So, um, I do have a small business partnership with Walmart, so I'm on walmart.com. Don't try to act like you got a small uh, nut. With anything a with small. Walmart, Walmart don't do nothing small. small. Walmart don't do nothing <laughs> small. Walmart does it big. Yeah, so, but I mean, I'm not in stores yet, so maybe they can call me and get me in some stores, but I am on walmart.com. And I'm on, on sopholebodysponge.com as well. Okay, Because we want to support my own website. Hey, man, you out here breaking ground, doing your thing, and mm -hmm. I hope Walmart realizes what you have right yes, here. Yes, I hope they do, too. Because I feel like this is probably how the whole little pandemic got started. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers just jumping in the water. Mm -hmm. No towel, no nothing. nothing. No, just body wash. Right. And vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Just in there, just vibing. Got a whole playlist, nothing to wash up. <laughs> <laughs> so what has it been like, you know, as a as a black woman entrepreneur, getting your word out, you know, like getting your product out, like building this business? What's what's been um, the journey? It's been tough, really. It's been tough, but I, I think the most important part was the fact that I was ready for it. Yeah. You know, because. Um, you could say you want to be in business, but if you're not really ready for the velocity and volume, you know, that's it. So it, it turned for me overnight, right. but I was ready for the business. So now I open my website on Sundays. I know Ryan was like, I've been trying for two months. Uh, we're open on Sundays only on, online. That means he's been stinking for two months. <laughs> <laughs> well, really longer, because he yeah, yeah, he was stinking before he, he found the yeah. bathroom. <laughs> Just joking, Ryan. He can't have this one, though. Um, We're going to keep all of these. Like, yes. Can we buy these? Yes, you can, definitely. Let's sell 100%. me all these. Okay. J-O-N want that pink one. He loves pink. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. That's the same color, really. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but on some real shit, though, man. I feel like you could really change the world with this, especially when them people start washing their legs. Yeah. I mean, the comments that I'm getting in my inbox is, too, like, I never felt this clean in my life. Like, I, sometimes I take a shower more than once a day. and But it's, like, it's shocking to them well, how I mean, clean they, they are. years of skin, dead skin just, just dead skin piled just up. Built up. Sure, Nasty. they feel filthy. Nasty. What type of advice are you giving the young, up-and-coming entrepreneurs it's when they ask you, like, how you do it? Like, what kind of advice are you giving them? Um, the advice that I'm giving them is to follow through, because it's... That's the most important thing. Yeah. Like, we on here laughing and joking, but my dog, he got the most critical follow-through game. Yeah, that's important because everything is an idea, right? But if you don't follow through, it's just that. It's just an idea, and um, keep working on it.
no matter, I mean, there's days when I'm like, I'm over it, but you just gotta keep going. All right, and then once you go take a shower, you back in business. Back in business. I don't right. how you feel. You, hey man, we forgot to wash up every day. Right. So Facts. You're definitely in the right industry. Thank you. Are you expanding to more products too? Um, yes, I'm going to be going into the shea butters, you know, especially I want you to being come from out with some do-rags. Some do-rags? Yeah, because I just feel like if you could do this with a sponge, I know you could take the wave game to a whole nother level. You heard it here you first. Need, you need some pillows. I want, I want this shit on everything. <laughs> How about a bikini? Or like some swimwear? That might be uncomfortable. Just saying. Fucking Jersey. Jersey. You could be sweating and getting the shit off you at, we'll talk about it. Oh, we'll we'll, we'll talk <laughs> Antimicrobial or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you taken this to, to Ghana? Or this already there? No, this is in Ghana. This is from Ghana. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. How big should these be? Like, could they be bigger? Or like they can whole, be bigger. Like a whole body? You got a body length one? No. Because that would be too big. I don't know. Because I could do this shit for a minute. I'd probably put the whole shit on, uh -huh. wash up through it. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I don't know we'll how y'all shower set up. We're not sure how yours is either, My shit actually. is like a corner. I got like a whole corner of a shower, and then it's another shower right there, so I can have like two streams on my body. But I'm balling, though. Yeah, facts. So yeah, I'm balling yeah. real hard. I splurge <laughs> on the shower. Got the shit with the little minerals in the head. Do you? Yeah. And the shit, like, you could just change it in anybody. So one shower is showering. Mm -hmm. The other shower is massaging the neck area. Damn, you eyeballing. And the water crisscross, <laughs> and I stand in the middle mm -hmm. so I can be the cleanest. Now that I have this. Now that you have that. I'm probably going to be the cleanest motherfucker in America. In America, <laughs> okay. You feel me? Yes. Yeah. 100%. Well, look, I wish you much success in Thank all you. your business. Anything you want to leave them with? Um, check out the website, sapobodysponge.com. That's S-A-P-O-B-O-D-Y-S-P-O-N-G-E. Um, we have some great things coming out for the holiday season, including Sapo Kids, which is cute. Which Sapo is, Kids? Yeah, a little softer version. We use these. What, at two uh, years these old? These kids so. be musty for real. Yeah, they don't need right? no softer version. Mm -hmm. They oh, need no. the grown folks. <laughs> they need the grown folks. They need the grown folks. Yeah, okay. they don't soften nothing up. They musty than we are. Okay. All right. That's I'm what they're doing. Okay. They stink. <laughs> we, we, we'll get them straight by, by the holiday season. Yeah, most so. definitely will. How can we help? Is there anything you need us to do? Spread the word. I everybody. did. I told all these people. <laughs> Continue to spread the word. Most keep, definitely. Keep, keep spreading the word. That's uh, it. We're you have social to, media? Yes, social media, Instagram, Sapo Body Sponge. Everything is Sapo Body Sponge. S-A-P-O Body Sponge. You can find me everywhere. I need you to plug me in with the West Africans. I got you. I love this. We're going to go to Ghana this year. We're going to take the whole crew? Yes. Everybody come. You said it's all natural? 100% nylon. Nylon? Mm-hmm. So it's made up of nothing else but nylon. I love it. Cat, you got to get one of these, G. I'm, I'm working out with that state right now. She knows, she's just my, my biggest fan right there. For real? Yep. She's Oh, and we got Pastage you. is the ambassador? Yeah. And they got you, this is a gift? This is for you. For, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No. OK, babe. All right. But since you have that one on your neck, you can have it to you. Oh, it's another one? It's the same one. Another one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's the little yeah, brochure. Yeah, yeah, There's some socks in here. No, it's not a sock. That's not a sock? No. What is this? It's just a t-shirt. Oh, a t-shirt. Already. Well, I really appreciate it. Oh. Hell yeah. I got one for travel, too. <laughs> is this little box reusable? It is, yeah. You just dry it out and throw mm -hmm. it back in there? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm emotional. I don't, I don't know how to... I'm not used to getting nice gifts and things of that nature. And now that I know that, that Ryan has been trying to get one and doesn't have one and I have two, I'm definitely flexing. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been trying to get one. I didn't even know about them. <laughs> I got two. <laughs>
man, man, I'm, I'm just living better than you, man. I smell better. My sponge game is better. I'm plugged in with the owner. Like, you on the website as a customer. I know the owner. You know what I mean? <laughs> you say you grew up in Rhode Island. There's not a lot of black people there. Oh, yes, there are. There's a enough. Lot. Yes. There's, there's enough. enough. There's enough to influence influence our culture. And Shout out to all the black people that live in Rhode Island. Woo! Every last one, one of y'all. <laughs> all 67 of y'all. 66, because she left. I did. You live in Atlanta now? I do. It's, mm -hmm. it's great, ain't it? It's, it's so great. black. It is. It mm -hmm. is, yeah. See, you don't have to look for us. No, 15 years. You been here for 15 mm -hmm. years? I've been here for 16 years. Yeah. yeah, it was a dope city. It's real dope. Especially for us. In the world? Especially for us. It's for us? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I like seeing all this shit. The fire truck passed by, there'd be seven black firemen on there. Mm -hmm. Police chief black, he's stealing. <laughs> the mayor black. You get off the tr you get off the plane and get on the escalator to go upstairs, you don't see nothing but black, black people. people. They got Killer Mike and shit yeah. all up there. <laughs> The mayor named Keisha. <laughs> what, what, what more could you ask for? Facts. Facts. Next mayor got to be named Kiki. Like if Keisha let us call her Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> the next mayor got to have a nickname. I think Kasim Reed going to win it again. Yeah. He a real he G. Might take but it. you know what? He doesn't have one of these. He will. And I feel like the most important people should have these. I agree. Well, Miss Lady, I appreciate you stopping through here. Thank you for having me. And bringing me this much needed body sponge. And this is just what you touched it. When you experience it in the shower, you can be like, whoa. This is gonna have me singing like Maxwell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>